You asked, what does my solar system do when there is no sunlight? Obviously, your solar system will only produce electricity during the day because it needs sunlight to operate. And the intensity of the sunlight or the sun irradiation, it's always hard for me to say irradiation, especially with a German accent. I bet it's German. So the sun irradiation on your panels will determine how much electricity comes out of it. And obviously at night, there's no sun irradiation. So therefore, your solar system will turn on automatically when a certain amount of solar electricity is being generated by the panel, which is usually about 6, 7 o'clock as the sun rises, and it will produce quite a bit less in the early hours of the morning, and then in the middle of the day when you have the brightest sunlight, it will produce usually the most, and then in the afternoon it slowly comes down again. So you kind of get a, like a U-shaped curve. There's a point at which the, the panels just do not produce enough electricity to trigger the inverter, and at that point in time it uh, turns off. In a very simple thing, your solar system will produce during the day, but not during the night, which means that anything that you do, like pool pumps and things like that, you would try to program them to be the busiest in the middle of the day when your solar system generates the most. Now, in regards to rainy weather and cloudy, some people wonder how much electricity does my solar system still generate uh, in those conditions? And look, I've observed this now for over a decade and kind of golden rule is this. If you have a six kilowatt system, in normal sunlight, it produces between four and five kilowatt hours at a given time. If it becomes a rainy day, it possibly comes down to about one third of the generation capability of the system. Uh, that's what it will give you. So if you have a six kilowatt system and uh, the sunlight triggers about a five kilowatt output, then you would possibly get 1.5, 1.8 kilowatt hours during rainy periods or cloudy periods. Now, obviously, if you have a very, very sunny day, you possibly start off with a one and a half kilowatt production in the morning. And by midday, you're sitting at five to six kilowatt hours production. And then it goes down again to three and two and one towards the late afternoon. But if you have a rainy day, you might only start with 500 watts in the morning and then during the day, you're only producing one and a half to two kilowatts, and then again, less in the afternoon. If you have an intermittent day with cloud and sun, well, obviously you could sometimes generate five kilowatt hours, and then 20 minutes later, only you know, for five minutes, two, and so it kind of staggers up and down. But in general, solar is still worth it because even on a rainy day, you're actually taking the edge of your electricity bill because the system will still generate kind of what I call acceptable levels of electricity. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.